So Shantanu had a, a good question, which I answered in chat too, but we could surface it here. Why is RHEL's version of QEMU and KVM always older? Other distros uh, use the latest, like Debian, Proxmox, etc. So why is the version that comes with RHEL older? It's the same reason most, I shouldn't say most, but many packages on RHEL seem older. That's because of that life cycle that we always come back to. When RHEL 9 was released, whatever was accepted as the version of QEMU and KVM and Libvirt, we're going to try to maintain those versions throughout the life cycle of RHEL 9, for example. So whatever it released with is what we're going to stick with because we don't want to change that underlying infrastructure in a way that might impact production for folks that are just trying to keep their lights on and stay up to date. Nate brought up uh, the API. That's a great example of where right. a release onto something newer could change how something works in your production environment, right? Because a rebase gets newer API calls, or maybe an API call that your software used went away. What happens then? Red Hat essentially forks for every major RHEL release and then maintains that fork over the 10 or so years of RHEL lifespan. The nice thing is every three years, what do we do, Nate? Every three years. Every three years, we have another release of RHEL. Predictable. Yeah. yeah. And so like middle of next year, we should be expecting RHEL 10. And, it'll and then get... you can have the latest and greatest Libvirt and QEMU. Right. <laughs> and KVM. 